Hello and welcome to building an FPS game with Unity and UFPS. My name is John P. Doran and I am a technical game designer. I've worked in various roles in the game industry from a game designer to a lead UI programmer. I'm also the author of over 10 books on game development and I'm currently a lecturer at DigiPen Institute of Technology Singapore. If you're interested in getting in touch with me, you can catch me on Twitter at JOdoran, on LinkedIn at John P. Doran, or at my website johnpdoran.com. Over the course of the book of this video series, we're going to be diving into a number of things. We're going to first learn how to dive into working with an FPS, first learning how to add things into our inventory, and then go over the control scheme and how movement works inside of FPS games. We're then going to design our own custom weapons with their own unique models, learning about concepts that UFPS has, such as unit banks and the different properties that we can modify to make the weapon our own. We're then going to dive into a level designer role, building some interesting encounters for our players to face, starting off with some temple turret enemies and moving on to create our own custom AI enemy making use of design patterns such as the finite state machine pattern, and learning how we can guide players by making use of health packs and ammunition. We're then going to learn how to breathe life into our levels by prototyping an explosive barrel feature. We're then going to learn how we can use Unity's animation system to create automatic doors, as well as how to use UFPS to create moving platforms for something like an elevator. We're then going to create our own custom GUI to replace UFPS's by first creating a main menu making use of the text component as well as buttons and then replacing the UFPS default HUD by also making use of sliders to create health bars. Finally, we're going to learn how to export our game and build an installer for Windows so that other people can play our game. For the course, I'm assuming a basic knowledge of Unity, how components work, that kind of thing. I also want you to be able to build levels in Unity because that's something that we're not teaching in this course. And if you do need help with that, as well as information on basic knowledge with Unity, I highly suggest that you check out my other video series, Building an Adventure Game with Unity, as I think it would be very beneficial. You'll also need to have Unity installed on your computer with the UFPS plugin available from the Asset Store by Opsiv. I also suggest that you install the free plugin Saber CSG to be able to create levels. And I go through the process of installing and setting that up in the Building an Adventure Game with Unity course. And with that, let's get started.